July 7th, 2017. This video is called Mutant Conjoined Flower Mr. Majestic Marigold. Alright, I like to grow marigolds because they are so easy to grow. But marigolds are kind of, I ain't going to say they've gotten boring. It's just there's not a lot of varieties out there. So I came across Mr. Majestic and I thought I would grow it because it kind of looks pretty cool. Actually, Mr. Majestic, that's pretty close. This is what Mr. Majestic is supposed to look like. And I know seeds are variable. I have a couple that are just all yellow or gold, orange. I've got some that are this yellowish gold with the little red spots on it. But out of a package of about 60 seeds, I got three mutations in them and they're all conjoined. Now here is the first one. This has got that golden yellow flower with the little tint on it right there. But look at the mutation. See how there's like another little bud popping out over there? We'll see if this gets another flower in there. Now this is the least impressive of the three mutations, but I wanted to throw that in there just to show you. Now I don't think mutations are normal. Variations in color are normal, but I would imagine there's slight genetic differences between these two but the plants leaves stems should also basically be pretty stable considering they've been growing these things for hundreds and hundreds of years so let me show you the other two mutations and let me know what you think all right here is one of the three now, usually you only have one flower bud per stem. See that? This is normal right there. This one is more subtle, but look at this. They look like twins. They have the two flowers, and it comes down from one point. See that in there? Actually, they're more like conjoined stems on this one than conjoined flowers. But that's coming off the same flower stem. The one that's more exciting is this one right here. See what's going on over here? This is the best example where there should have just been one flower stem coming out over here. I hope I don't break this. Where there was that one stem, there's the fasciation. See the little ridge in between them? And now look at, they're conjoined right there. Now this one, since marigolds are so easy to grow, I'm going to save these seeds and see if that mutation passes on. Oh boy, I cannot break this. I might have to do a little surgery now to keep this from falling apart. See, I bent it right there. But I think it'll be alright, because plants are so resilient. See that? The abnormal is slowly becoming normal nowadays. 
and it's caused by pollution it's caused by the disruption of the code in the DNA now one day maybe it'll get so messed up on earth that actually this is what the normal is this is what we don't want but if it's happening to plants how can it not be affecting animals and it is this is a plant cancer right here and if it was happening in humans there would be alarm but maybe that there it is happening to humans but there is no alarm yet because who's counting the numbers the true facts of cancer and the rise of diseases because of this nuclear accident in Japan the cover-up means that the truth is not being told so nobody knows what's really going on the truth is hidden we will never know what's truly happening maybe in 50 years when the population plummets it's the only way to find out the future is what holds the answers so maybe those that make it will be lucky or actually maybe those that make it will be unlucky because what is the future contaminated food disease cancer destroyed environments no animals no mammals no insects no plants no trees no life I hope not but there will be people that will witness something that maybe they will not have wanted to witness good luck out there we're gonna need it